A good place to start in describing the histologic features of the female genital tract would be an ovary. This is a human ovary. Uh, it's a human ovary in an infant because it contains many features you would not find in an adult ovary. First of all, all of these individual cells you see here towards the cortex or the periphery of the ovary can be called, for lack of a better term, oocytes or simply ova. They are the first stage of development of the follicle. When the uh, oocytes are, have developed enough to have a small nest of flat or squamous looking epithelium around them, like here, and like here, and like probably here, and like maybe here, you can call those primordial, P-R-I-M-O-R-D-I-A-L follicles. When the uh, epithelium surrounding the oocyte has a columnar or cuboidal uh, epithelium, like here and like here, you could call those primary follicles. And notice there are a lot of generally spindly or stromal cells between these follicles. And the more closely you get towards the medulla of the ovary or away from the outer cortex, the more stroma you will have. There's relatively little stroma here and there's a lot here. In addition, when you see a follicle in which you have a clear-cut little crisp membrane around the ovum, which is called the zona pellucida, you now know you are in a secondary follicle. And all of these cells surrounding the ovum, external to this crisp little refractile zona pellucida, is our granulosa cells. When you start to see a separation in the granulosa cells to form an antrum, you could then call that a graphene follicle. I do not see any graphene follicles in this infant ovary, so I am going to quickly move. See, here's another secondary follicle. Here's another secondary follicle. But I don't see any follicles in which there is a significant antrum, so I'm going to move very quickly to another slide in which we will see it. And I think we're gonna see that very soon. And yes, sure enough, in this particular ovary, you can see granulosa cells surrounding the ovum. You can also see granulosa cells surrounding the whole follicle. And you can see a large antrum in here filled with liquor folliculi very, very, very rich in estrogen. This is now a graphene follicle. A graphene follicle has a large antrum, a lot of granulosa cells surrounding the whole follicle, and a lot of granulosa cells surrounding the uh, ovum too, generally called the cumulus oophorus. And here is the actual ovum. This may be some remnant of a zona pellucida, here you have the granulosa cells surrounding the ovum, and here you have the granulosa cells surrounding the follicle, and this large space in between is liquor folliculi. Needless to say, most of the spindly cells between follicles can be called stromal cells. So it's not really fair to talk about the ovary unless you talk about the various phases of development of follicles. And as you go from the oocyte to the primordial follicle, to the primary follicle, to the secondary follicle, to the graphene follicle, you have all diagnostic features which differentiate one from the other. And uh, that's really all I want to say about ovary for now. So I will thank you very much.